Hey y'all, it's Wallace from Midnight Sun Performance Horses. I wanted to go over what a barrel racing incentive is. You hear a lot about it when you're entering a barrel race. There might be X amount of money for future fortune horses, or you're hearing a lot about pink buckle, or the blue collar breeders incentive. And what an incentive is, is a bunch of stallion owners typically get together and in order to raise awareness about their stallion and to add value for their foals and marketability, they put some money together and they say at these events, we're gonna have an extra side pot just for offspring of these stallions. And a lot of times the colt, the foals will also have to be paid, got my cat helping me, um, have to be paid into the incentive as well. So today I wanted to go over the oldest and I think it's the oldest, but the most well-known one right now is Future Fortunes. So Future Fortunes started in 2004 with 38,000 at two events, I believe, and has grown to where they've paid out over $5 million the past, what, 14 or so years. And it started out with, I believe, about 40 stallions paying, ex I think it's 2,800, I don't, I don't know. You can look up uh, on their website exactly how much each stallion pays in, and then for the first year the foal's born, it's $200 to pay in and make your foal eligible. And it's paid in for life. That's with future fortunes. Each, each incentive has a little bit different rules to it. But for future fortunes, the stud pays a fee every year to be eligible and for all its foals to be eligible. And then they can advertise that their foals are part of future fortunes. And then the offspring pay a one-time fee and then for the rest of the life of the offspring they're eligible so a weanling you pay it in for two hundred dollars then for the next x amount of years of its you know competitive life from four to twenty i don't know it's eligible at these select events that are advertised future fortune money available and all you have to do is just enter the main race and you're also eligible for the here's the kitty um uh, future fortunes money with no extra entry fee and um, they a lot of them just do futurities but future fortunes opened up and they do open races too so there's a local race here dynamite barrel race it's usually like in May or April and they always have they typically have ten thousand dollars future fortunes added and so when you enter the barrel race you just enter like you normally would and you but you have to mail in a copy of your foals papers and when you enter and then at the end of the race, they only look at the times from the Future Fortunes horses and they pay out a 4D, there it's $10,000, and so it pays out 4D five places. And you typically will get your check about two to three weeks after the event, as long as they have all your information. They also pay, so um, the 10,000 isn't 100% paid out to the colt owner, it is section, about 70% is paid out to the colt owner, 20% is paid out to the breeder, and 10% goes back to the stallion owner. So um, that gives everybody a reason to pay it into it. Um, also, but if that stallion drops out, dies, as long as you've paid that $200, you're golden, you're good, you're set. Um, it does go up substantially. Actually, for 2018, Future Fortunes does have a deal where any horse that is by a stallion that has ever been a Future Fortune stallion can pay in for $500. Um, that is ending this year, so if you have, you know, a horse that you, you should go to the website and look up. If you have a registered horse that you're running or you plan to be running, you should go to the website and they have a list of stallions. Um, that have, have been in the program. So you can look up any stallion that was ever in the program, I believe, and pay them in. So you, you need to get on that and do that. One big controversy controversy with Future Fortunes is they used to limit it to 50 studs, and then like 70 studs, and then like 100 studs. Well, now they've opened it up to any stud that pays the fee it can be eligible. So I don't know what that's gonna do if you're gonna get a barrel race and every, every horse is going to be eligible for that future fortunes or if it's still going to be kind of a um, like prestigious like limited event thing um, we'll just see how it goes in the future but there was a lot of 
contention over people wanting their stallions to be in future fortunes and just on the wait list for a long time and not being able to get uh, their stallion nominated and only these select few available. So I, I don't know what it's going to do for the future uh, future, uh, future fortunes, but future future fortunes. But we will see, and uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll get back to y'all. I plan to go over um, Triple Crown 100, uh, Pink Buckle, BBR, and Blue Collar, and any of these other ones that are popping up, or if you have questions about um, a certain uh, incentive, or you know if your horse is eligible, you can message me or comment below, and I'll do what I can to help y'all. Have a good day.